When Liet Kynes was cast as a woman, it left fans with speculating as to how the dynamics would work between Cheney and Liet and Stilgar. There were some theories that were created that Stilgar would become Cheney's father and that Liet would become Cheney's mother. So this video will take a look at the dynamics between them and whether or not this is actually the case in Denis Villeneuve's Dune. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you can be first to be notified of new videos. Now that that is out the way, let's begin. So as we know, Sharon Duncan Brewster was cast as Liette Kynes. In the beginning, we weren't really sure what role she would be playing. People thought that she may be even playing the Shadout Mapes. But it was announced pretty late after the knowledge that we already knew Sharon Duncan Brewster was going to be in Dune. The fact that she plays Liette Kynes. Of course, this led to speculation and certain people were not pleased with the idea. But I think the main issue is how this casting affects the dynamic between the characters and that was one of my main concerns. So logically we would say that now Liette Kynes is going to be Cheney's mother instead of Cheney's father and that in book canon Cheney's mother Faraula would be omitted from the Dune films or the Dune story. And just to give a little background info on Faraula, she's a Fremen herbalist from the Red Wall CH, and she was daughter of the Naib Heinar. She was married to Warwick and then to Liet Kynes after Warwick's death. It saddens me that Faraula would have been omitted from the Dune storyline because there is a potential to see her in flashbacks or to see her in certain Fremen or Bene Gesserit rituals. So it, it would have been interesting to keep Faraula in the storyline, particularly because Faraula is an Arabic name and it means strawberry. And of course, the Dune film suffers from slight criticism about omitting Arabic and omitting Arab actors from the film, so it doesn't bode well. So if we think about this change being legitimate and that now Liet Kynes is going to be Cheney's mother instead of Faraula, how would that affect the dynamic? Would that mean that Liet Kynes was the love of Stilgar and they had a, a relationship and then they had the daughter Chaney? Spoiler ahead, if you don't want to be spoiled, please check out another video of mine. Liet Kynes is not the mother of Chaney in Denis Villeneuve's Dune. Nor is Stilgar the father of Cheney. There's absolutely no indication as to any relationship between any of them or any parental link or any family ties. It seems that instead of omitting Faraula, Cheney's real mother, out of Dune, that Denis Villeneuve has chosen to completely remove all the ties and all that baggage and not even deal with it. Probably because it saves time, it helps the story flow better as a film. But again, this is why I've always said that in a TV series, this would be no issue, there would be no problem. You could easily flesh this out. Now the issue with this complete omission is how does it affect Cheney? Because really, we were looking to bolster Cheney's character. We wanted to strengthen her character. Does this make it weaker? Does this make Cheney a weaker, less fleshed out character? And the answer to that is, it's possible. Who knows? We don't know. Things can change after scripts are written. Things can even change in the editing room. And when they go back for reshoots, perhaps they felt that, oh, actually, we need these family ties. We need some kind of family links. So in the end, there is a slight chance that Denis Villeneuve completely changes his mind and says, you know what? We need Cheney to be Liette Kynes' daughter, and that is going to be the route we take in the film. And Villeneuve may even make Stilgar the father of Cheney, so there could be this dynamic reinserted into the movie. But so far, from everything that I know, going by information and the script and all sorts of things like that, there doesn't seem to be an indication that Cheney is going to be Liette Kynes' daughter, or that Liette Kynes is going to be the mother of Cheney, or that Stilgar is going to be Cheney's father. There is literally 
literally no indication of that. The impressions we get of Cheney in Denis Villeneuve's film is that she's the woman of Paul's dreams, quite literally. She is this exotic beauty. I don't know how that's going to play out. Will it play out well? But she is this exotic beauty in his dreams. And then she aids him when they finally meet. And she becomes this integral part of his life. And in the spice trance, we see them both kind of connect their deep love from visions of the future. It's very strange, but it's how it works in the book as well. And I find it very interesting. I think that Cheney is going to be an interesting character on screen. Will she seem strong? Will there be criticisms of how short her screen time is? There could be. It depends on if they include more footage or not of her in the film. But again, I think something like this is going to come through in the performances. It's one thing to be quotes written on paper or information that you receive, but when you actually see a performance, that can really sell the convictions of a character, the strength and boldness and depth of a character. It comes out in the performances themselves, so I'm looking forward to see how that plays out. The storyline of Cheney and her parents is not really an easy one to tackle. It wasn't really tackled very well in either the David Lynch film or the Dune miniseries. You never really got the sense that Liet Kynes was her father. There was never really a scene where Cheney really sold the idea to me that Liet Kynes was her father and that she mourned him. I think the Dune miniseries tackled this in a better way than the David Lynch movie. So Denis Villeneuve route to completely omit this issue may be a better idea for the sake of screen time and to keep the pace of the film going smoothly. The only problem I can see with this is that in future films this may never be a subject touched upon. There will be no Cheney's mother, no Cheney's father, nothing. There will be absolutely no connection whatsoever. And it also omits a very interesting connection between Paul Atreides and Cheney because now she will not be called Cheney Kynes, but not just that, both their fathers die. Paul loses his father to Harkonnen treachery, and Cheney loses her father to a spice blow on Arrakis. And they're both connected in that way. So they both have a deep connection, not just the futuristic love connection that they have, but also the loss, that feeling of loss of their fathers. So I think that kind of strengthens their love in a way, or at least strengthens Paul and Cheney's connection and relatability. But what do you guys think of this? Let me know in the comments section below. Are you sad to see Cheney's real mother Faraula removed from the cinematic storyline? Did you want Liet Kynes to be Cheney's mother? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe as always. And please click the bell so that you can be first to be notified of new content. If you'd like to support this channel, you can support me on Patreon, where you will get exclusive access to content first ahead of time and other features too. Thank you for watching and until next time, see you soon.